All right, welcome back to the Pisces C channel. Today I'm happy to tell you about a new book that Point Breeze Publishing has put out on design of experiments in Python. And the, the principal idea in design of experiments is uh, you have some objective, some question you want to answer that requires you to make some measurements. And you want to make the best set of measurements so that you get the, the right, um, most, most useful information out of them. So, so typically we'll have some objective like, is this treatment better or worse than that treatment? And we need to design an experiment or a set of experiments that will tell us if they are statistically uh, different or not. Or you might want the slope of a line to estimate some kind of diffusion parameter or activation energy, etc. And we want to choose the best experiments. So we'll have an, an objective, we'll have a, a model and design that, that we think will, will give us that information. We'll make those measurements, we'll get the data, and then we have to do an analysis of the data to determine whether or not we answer our question and iterate. And that's what design of experiments is. It's been around for many decades, and there, there are lots of commercial packages that will set up and do all of these things for you. But I was interested in uh, integrating it into, uh, into Python, and that's what uh, this booklet is about. Okay, so in the book, um, I talk a little bit about visualization um, because it's, it's important to not simply rely on numbers and uh, metrics. It's, it's important that we be able to visualize. And so I'll talk, I show you um, some things about statistical plots like quartile plots, uh, distributions, and plots with error bars. Then, um, then we talk about um, what I consider to be conventional design of experiments. And I call them conventional because they've been around for many decades and um, they're pretty standard, but that doesn't mean they're not good. Um, they're just not, um, not the, the current modern uh, take that, that I'll get to in a little bit. So these go by names like Latin hypercube, full factorial, surface response, mixture designs. We, we cover all of those. Um, in here, so we have some examples on Latin hypercubes, different kinds of fractional full factorial designs, um, surface response designs, and mixture designs, and some of the nuances in there. And I show you how to use Python packages to set up these uh, designs, and then how to use other Python packages for analysis and visualization. Then, uh, then we transition to um, what is kind of more modern today, uh, also known as like active learning, sequential model-based design, where you, you know what model you, you're looking at and you can take advantage of that knowledge to create um, optimal designs in different ways. And so these typically will use uh, things like Bayesian optimization. So uh, here's an example um, using Griffin which is uh, from the group of Alain asper guzik in Toronto, where you can uh, run a few samples and get an estimate of what, uh, what a surface might look like, and then you can use it uh, to find uh, new points and, and sample it. Another example might be uh, Modal. This is a different kind of uh, Bayesian optimization tool. And here you might have you know a few samples, uh, and this this blue line shows what you you currently think the the system is and where the the current best thing is. And through an iterative uh, approach, you might choose points um, in here, and you'll see uh, that we can iteratively improve until you get to something that's quite near the the top, like that. And so instead of trying to do all of these all at once, uh, you use an iterative approach to update a surrogate model uh, as it goes. Um, a scikit, scikit optimize is kind of similar. Uh, there's some examples of, of that where you also end up kind of near the, the top. And I have one example in here on uh, kind of making your own uh, sequential um, based design of experiment tool. It was harder than I thought. Um, it's, it's tricky to get all of the hyperparameters of the Gaussian process correct, but the, the basic idea is, is really simple. You need a model that you can iteratively update, and you need an uncertainty estimate for that model, and you use those two things together to decide, do I explore the space for something better, or do I optimize the space, uh, exploit the model to, uh, to get something uh, more optimal. All right, I wrap up the book with different sampling methods. Uh, so the first part, there are standard ways of 
building the design that are based on orthogonality of, of the different experiments. In the second one, you use the sequential based uh, model, but in, in some cases you may want to use uh, different ways of sampling. So there's quasi Monte Carlo sampling that does something like the Latin hypercube samples. There's also Sobol sampling for trying to fill the space. So here you can see if we use random numbers, there's these, all these little gaps. If we use something like the Sobol sequence, then uh, the space is more uniformly filled, even though it looks like there's some patterns uh, in here uh, for that. And then finally, we talk a little bit about um, optimal sample selection where you can choose the next point uh, so that you can say, minimize the variance in your parameter estimates, uh, et cetera. All right, there is, uh, like others, an index to, you know, help you help you navigate this. And uh, that is a, a real brief summary of, of what's in the Design of Experiments book. It does come with uh, a Docker image, so you can run all of this through a Docker image if you don't want to install any of the Python packages yourself, and also has some directions on uh, using a virtual environment. So hopefully you'll find this to be a good practical introduction to how to do design of experiments, how to set them up, how to analyze them, um, and visualize the results all, all in Python um, for, for your work. So I hope you like it. You can find a link in the uh, video description. And if you, uh, if you buy it, leave me uh, a review and let me know what you think about it.